Hatching baby chicks is fun, but when those chicks start to grow up, you realise that some grow into hens and others grow up to be roosters. And unfortunately, a lot of the time, nobody wants very many roosters. So lots of people ask, how can I tell whether this chick is a girl or a boy? One of the ways to know is to plan the mating of your chick's parents in a method called a sex-linked cross. In my last genetics video, I covered the basics of what makes a chicken male or female. Make sure you know that before you try to understand sex-linked crosses, because it can be very confusing. Let's see how they work. We'll start with a light Sussex hen. Because she's a female chicken, we know that she has two different sex chromosomes, one Z chromosome and one W chromosome. Now, as it happens, the white color of her feathers is determined by a gene called silver, which is carried on the Z chromosome. The silver gene works like that white correction fluid to cover up any other color that the feathers might have been without the effect of the silver gene. The silver gene is a dominant gene, which we know means it shows its effect even if the chicken has only one copy of it. So even with only one copy of the silver gene on her one Z chromosome, the hen's feathers are white. Now let's get a Rhode Island red rooster. Obviously he doesn't carry the silver gene. We know that because any chicken with even one silver gene will express that dominant gene and so will look silver or white. And the Rhode Island red rooster is red. And because he's a rooster, we know he has two Z chromosomes. The rooster will pass one of his two Z chromosomes on to all of his chicks. And since he's a purebred Rhode Island Red, both of those chromosomes are pretty much identical, so it doesn't matter which one. The hen will either pass on her W chromosome, in which case the chick will be female, or she will pass on her Z chromosome, which means the chick will be a male. And since her Z chromosome carries the gene for silver, the chick will look pale. The female chicks are not pale because the only Z chromosome they have is from their dad whose Z chromosome does not carry the silver gene. So there we have it, color-coded chicks. The boys are pale and the girls are darker. We can plot it on the Punnett square. The rooster passes one of his Z genes to all his offspring. And the silver hen passes her W chromosome to her daughters and her Z chromosome with the silver gene to her sons. Can we do it the other way around? Let's plot it out. A silver rooster can be either homozygous with both of his Z chromosomes carrying the silver gene or heterozygous with only one silver gene. Because silver is dominant, in either case the rooster would look silver, so we won't be able to tell just by looking at him. Let's start with a homozygous rooster and see how that works out. A red hen, of course, has no silver gene, because silver, remember, is dominant. If she had a silver gene, she would look white. So if, since she doesn't look white, we know she has no silver gene. Her sex chromosomes are one Z and one W chromosome. About half of her chicks will inherit her W gene and be girls, and about half will inherit her Z gene and be boys. The homozygous silver rooster has two identical Z genes. He must of course pass one or other onto all of his baby chicks, but since he's homozygous, both of his Z genes are the same and both carry the silver gene. So all of his chicks will look silver. This cross gives us half girls and half boys, but all silver chicks. So maybe we'll try a heterozygous silver rooster. Perhaps he's not purebred. Maybe the offspring from our first sex-linked cross when we got silver roosters and red hens, remember? Since he's heterozygous, he can pass on his Z chromosome that carries the silver gene, or his Z chromosome that doesn't carry silver. 
and statistically he will pass on each to about half of his chicks. The red hen can pass on her Z chromosome or her W chromosome and since she's red we know that she doesn't have any silver gene. So the chicks can be ZW carrying silver and so be a silver female or ZZ carrying silver and so be a silver male or ZW without silver and so be a red female or ZZ without silver and so be a red male. Again, this cross, a silver rooster with a red hen, does not give us colour-coded chicks. It's not a sex-linked cross. Only the first generation of a cross between a red rooster and a silver hen is a sex-linked cross, and it gives us silver cockerels and red, or rather, brownie-looking hens. This is not the only way to do a sex-linked cross, but it's a very popular one. In fact, this is how they make commercial breeds like Highline Browns or Isa Browns or Red Shavers. They're not a pure breed. They are the chicks of a sex-linked cross. If you had the parent birds, you could do the cross and get Shavers or Highlines too. But if you try to breed them with another Shaver or Highline, they won't breed true. They are in fact not a breed, but a hybrid. If you want color-coded chicks, you have to do the cross, starting with a white hen and a red rooster. It's the classic sex-linked cross.